What's up guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com and this video is for anyone interested in getting started and selling used electronics. This is actually going to be a two-part series. This first one, this video right here is going to be about sourcing in the store and the next one will be about getting things prepped and ready to ship off to Amazon. So this video is for anyone that's interested in starting but specifically this video is for you Jerry because you asked for it man and here it is. So we're going to go over how to look items up in store with the Amazon seller app and how do I know if it's profitable? How do I know if it's going to make me money or if it's going to sell quick or sell slow? We'll go over this stuff and more in this video. All right, guys. So the first thing I look for in the electronics section are combo players. These are the DVD VCR combo units. So I start with those and then I move on to the VCRs. But the way you look it up on Amazon is you need the brand and you need the model number. And usually you can find that right on front on most units, Magnavot's there. You can see the model number there, but sometimes it won't be on the front. In that case, you'll have to turn the unit around and look for the information on the back. There's always a label that's gonna give you the name and the model number that you need. So we'll just pull up our handy dandy Amazon seller app and add a product. We're going to type in that uh, brand name and the model number and see what we got. Apologize for my slow typing. All right, so here we are and we'll click on that first one. And once you're inside, you're going to see that this thing has an FBA price of $195, which is a bit high. Uh, regular use is $97.99. So you could definitely make a lot of money on this one if the price is right. Fortunately for me, after doing some initial basic testing in store, this one did not work completely. So I had to leave it behind, although it was some good profit. The rank was also really awesome for this item, 14,000. I like to play under 250. Uh, really, I like to keep it under 150, but I'll go as high as 250, uh, 250,000 that is. But definitely don't rely on just sales rank. Go ahead and look up the item uh, in Keepa to see if it has a decent sales history. I really like to see these units selling, you know, three to five times a month at least. So all you need to look up anything on Amazon is the brand name and the model number and you can find it on the front of these combo units and vcrs or you can find it on the back label so get in there look for those model names look for those numbers all right so here we're going to check this funai one out and when you're putting in the brand name and the model number sometimes it's going to auto populate your exact item which is a lot of help you just go ahead and click on that and it'll do that search for you so there it is and we'll check out the pricing and it's going for $90 FBA, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you sold it for that, you would get 69 back minus whatever your buy cost was. And again, you see the rank on this one is really awesome at 22,000. All right, guys, let's check out another one. This is gonna be another Magnavox. Uh, what's interesting about this one is it pulls up two different kinds. This is actually the same thing, but it has two different listings. So at this point, I want to look at the pictures and the description of the item and make sure that I have the correct thing. Uh, if you look at the top picture, it has a remote and some cables in it, and the one underneath it just has a unit only. So for me, I'm going to go with the one with the unit only because I don't have the remote, and I don't have the cables, and I don't intend on sending those things in with it. And we can debate whether or not you should be sending them in with remotes or not, but I'm just not going to discuss it. I've never had an issue with it, but some people have. So really, it's just at your own risk whether you do it or not. It's your Amazon account. It's your business. You do it your way. So this one comes back with a rank of 94000 which is still decent, and an FBA offer of $104, which is great. So this is another keeper that I actually bought. All right, guys, you want to be sure and do some basic testing on them in store, especially if you're buying them and they, the store does not have a return policy. Goodwill does. They give you 10 days. But you want to test them in store for basic functions. So what I usually do is run and get a VHS and I pop it in. I make sure that it loads. I make sure that it ejects. I make sure that the fast forward and rewind is working. And for the DVD part, I just make sure that the drawer opens and closes correctly. So find an outlet, plug it in, play with it a little bit, uh, give it some time, make sure you're not overlooking any kind of quirks. You know, some of these systems will turn on for a couple of minutes and then shut off. Some of these systems will work, but when you press rewind, it'll shut off. Uh, little things like that, just look out for. 
best case scenario is there is a return policy. So check out if that particular thrift has a return policy for electronics, you're going to need it. So that's it, guys. That's pretty much the basics of going out and finding electronics. So I left the store with three units with altogether a profit of about $165, which is not bad at all for walking into a store, spending less than 30 minutes inside and pulling out $165 in profit. Stay tuned for part two and uh, we'll talk about how to list, how to uh, prep and get these bad boys ready to ship off and get to those profits. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Peace.